Today I'm going to show you how I do my eyebrows. I like a really chiselled brow and I think they're so important and can add so much to your face. So I'm going to try and take you through step by step how I do it and hopefully you can pick up some tips along the way. I'm going to strip this off now so you're going to see me in this next shot with, with without my brows um, but they're going to be back so uh, enjoy. So I've taken my brows off, um, feel a bit nude without them I've got to admit but I'm going to put them back on now and I'm going to take you through um, how I do it. Now if you pluck your brows yourself I'm going to show you a really nifty little trick just to make sure you're getting the right shape. If you take one of your brushes, your liner brush or your brow brush and if you rest it up against your nose vertical, where the brush hits your brow is where your brow should ideally start. Now if we edge it along keeping on the nose and if you go diagonally through the pupil of the eye where the brush hits is where your brow arch should be. And now if we move along even more so, still resting on the nose and just resting on the tip of the eye, where the brush hits is where your brow should ideally end. So that's a really good little indicator if you're plucking your brows yourself. If not, go and get them done professionally just so you've got a really good shape there to work with. So I use a powder system to do my own eyebrows. I've got a palette here. This is a Bobbi Brown palette. It's actually from my kit, from my makeup kit. Um, but I'm just showing you just to demonstrate the different colours um, that, that you can get. I mean, you could be quite a blonde brow or you could be quite a mahogany brow. It's always best to go to a counter and um, see a makeup artist so they can professionally match you up if you're not 100% sure yourself. I think that's the best advice I could give. Now, my brow colour is Hot Stone. So this is what I'm using. It's number 56 by Bobbi Brown. Now I'm using the Bobbi Brown brow brush, some of you probably already noticed. Another brow brush I really do like is the one by MAC and that code is 208. Another really good little brow brush. If you have a look at the um, the, the ends, they're really chiselled. So they, they do a lot of the work for you. So I'm going to use my, my, Bobbi Brown, my Bobbi Brown brush. It's my favourite. I will say invest in a good brush because it does the work for you. Um, and you'll really notice the difference. Something else I really like to use when I'm doing my own eyebrows is um, a mascara wand. Now you can pick these up from anywhere. Actually I got a load of them from, uh, there's a shop called Tiger Tiger in the UK and uh, they were a pound each so they're really really cheap. I use them in my kit um, on, on people I work with but um, also I have them in my, my own makeup kit to do my own brows with. So I'm going to start, I'm going to get on, I'm going to start putting my brows on so I feel human. Now with your mascara wand what you want to do is start by brushing your brows down. So you look slightly interesting looking, funny looking. Take your brow brush and load. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the peak here. And the reason I brush the brows down it's because I always want to score along the hairs at the top without the other hairs in the way, if that makes any sense. So you want to use that natural line there that your hairs form as like a ruler. And I'm just stroking. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Start from the top and you're just literally stroking the hairs across. So take your uh, mascara wand again and brush up. Now you can already see there's, there's a bit of an internal structure going on so that's the top part done. Load the brush again and then from the base, from when the hairs begin, just stroke upwards. You're literally coating the hairs and you're building colour and definition. Go all the way to the middle, working within your brow shape, and when you get to the top, the arch, just direct the brush downwards along the hairs. There we go. Already beginning to look lovely. Other side. It really, really does become nice and easy. If you're new to this, 
takes a little bit of time to get really speedy at it. I think if you apply lightly to begin with and then build, that's what's good about the powders, the buildable. So rather than rushing in with quite a loaded brush, just take your time with it. Literally stroking and then angling it down. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that actually. I'm going to show you another little trick um, that I love. This little number. It's Match Perfection by Rimmel. This is Ivory number ten. Now this really gives your eyebrows a kick, and it really gives them that definition and punch. This comes with a little brush on the end, which is great, but I don't tend to apply straight from the uh, from the tube. I like to dispense a little bit on my hands, just a really small amount, like that. And then I like to just load the brush, because this way you, you don't smear it, you don't get too much on your face. If you just start dispensing it onto your face, it could go really wrong, we don't want that. So I'm just loading the brush this way. I'm going to do one, I'm going to show you in comparison to the other just how good it looks. So what I'm going to do is frame my eyebrows. So I'm literally scoring a border around the shape. I'm not going into the hair. I'm just staying on the outside and creating a nice neat border and the brush does a lot of the work. It's really really easy to use. Now immediately, if you look, you can see it's just really nicely chiselled and defined. I'm really happy with that. I love a good brow. And then we're going to do the other side. Again, it's just really quick. Such a handy little tube. It's actually a highlighter and a concealer in one. But I just tend to use it on my brows. If you've got Tusha Clow or any other highlighter, then just go with that. See how you get on with that. But this is really cheap and cheerful. And you can pick it up anywhere. And if you just smooth with your fingers, you're fine. The product just disappears and it becomes invisible on your skin. So I'm really, really happy with that. That's how I like to wear my brows day to day. Now, for an extra little fix, little trick, hairspray, a little cute can hairspray, back to your mascara wand. Give it a little spritz and just brush the hairs up. Now also, if you think you've done them a little bit too dark, use your mascara wand to brush through. If you brush through, it lightens the hair slightly and it means you don't have to kind of scrub it off and start again if you're, if you're not 100% happy. But give it a go, let me know how you get on and I really hope this has helped you out.